And we did the, uh, the progenital cell injection to the patient with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Um, uh, especially the, uh, the patient with uh, uh, poor ventricular function. What did you find? The, uh, the, the patient with uh, the progenitor, progenitor cell injection group uh, had a much better uh, uh, recovery of the ventricular function than control group. The ejection fraction increased the average 10 percent and also the uh, light ventricular mass also increased uh, 10 percent. In the children that got the cells? Yes. Are you surprised by these findings that you are seeing a good response with this therapy? Was it surprising to you? Um, yes, um, because uh, 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 I read many papers, but mostly from adult. Um, the, uh, the, from the, the laboratory study, they said that it works, but the clinically almost no change. But in a, a in the small children, the, uh, the response and improvement of cardiac function is very, very clear to everyone. At this point in the research, what is the take-home message for uh, physicians, do you think? We think now the, uh, uh, this, uh, the stem cell therapy works, uh, but only uh, small children. Um, I think not only the uh, uh, hypoplastic left heart syndrome, but also the uh, oldest, the single ventricular patient, and maybe the a, a cardiomyopathy patient too. How do you think these cells work? What do you think they do in the heart of these children? Uh, there are lots of uh, uh, different uh, theory. The one is the, uh, um, the progenitor cell uh, directly work to the intrinsic uh, progenitor cells. Uh, but the other theory is uh, like a stimulate uh, or inflammation makes like uh, angiogenesis or other factors or cytokines also stimulate. So uh, no one knows what the true uh, reason of the working, but they're actually working in, a, in a small children because the uh, uh, intrinsic uh, progenitor cells are four times more than adult. There is the possibility that pharmacotherapy could increase the intrinsic regenerative ability in adults. Could you, could you explain that a bit more? I think there are uh, the probably two possibilities. One is to increase the, uh, uh, the progenitor cells in adults uh, to uh, a small children level by our uh, pharmacology uh, uh, technique. The other thing is to um, um, the, the response to the stimuli become like a four times uh, than an adult. So the how to do uh, to increase the the, uh, the response uh, by a pharmacological um, uh, power? What? drug or biologic could be used to do this in adults. Do we have any idea yet? I, I don't know exactly, but the, uh, some kind of drug to, uh, to make like angiogenesis or make the uh, inflammation. These, uh, these is, uh, they stimulate the intrinsic uh, project yourselves. And what is your next step in research, doctor? 
we know the, uh, this technique works in uh, small babies, but the next step is to uh, uh, expand the indication to much uh, older children, and uh, finally uh, this technique uh, uh, will apply to adult myocardia. How far away are we from being able to apply this research in the clinic? Um, we finished the, uh, the phase two trials and in 34 patients, uh, which is a randomized study, they all finished. Uh, we need to follow up one year and then uh, send all the results to the Japanese government. So the, once the, the, the government approved, we move to the phase three. The phase three is a multi-center study. That I was asked uh, uh, from many uh, universities in the United States to, to join the phase three, such as uh, Boston Children, Philadelphia, Stanford, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So once we are expand, once we, we uh, start phase three. Uh, but more patients have uh, uh, this like, uh, uh, technique and then I think the, uh, the more units um, are interested in this new technique and to uh, expand the indication to uh, older children and adults.